Hi, we're here with Jeff Prey, who oversees all activation at Starcom LA. So let's start with uh, content. What is the process you go through in terms of one, you know, running all the different ads to those targeted audiences and then coming back with recommendations as to where brands should go? Well, I usually go to a lot of my clients and recommend as many ads uh, or as much creative as possible. Um, is that financially feasible? Absolutely not. We try to offset that with looking at some partners for some custom creative. Okay, we only have this many spots that we can do. By the way, we also have these influencers or some custom creative that we can use. So it's another way for us to try and get that out there because I am a huge believer, especially with my uh, movie studio background, that you just need so much creative mm -hmm. all the time. How are you, do you see using paid social versus traditional digital and some of the other places that you're, you're purchasing media? Now, well, what's it doing for you differently? The paid social is amplifying the brand like kind of as soon as possible. Um, it works amazing for entertainment um, accounts. Uh, just to get as much content out there as po um, as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, and also just to see, do a temperature check about mm -hmm. how this is going. Also with some partners too when it, that deal with social. So we have partnered with Tasty for some videos. All right. Some have went phenomenally well. Okay. It is a little bit of a wild, wild west and you kind of have to have a certain amount of uh, patience when it comes to dealing with these situations. Tell us a little bit how you're using influencer marketing as a complement to your overall campaigns. Uh, I would say that influencer marketing has to do with basically almost every single one of my clients that I have right now. You, one, do have to have some patience when you are, inv are involved in any influencer marketing campaign. There are numerous cooks in the kitchen, numerous amounts of revisions, and also not trying to screw around with the brand integrity of what the influencer that you're speaking about. Mm -hmm. There's no reason of why I should be placing a product or have them talk about something that should not, is not in their normal vernacular. It's a, also a perception for clients as well, some agencies to, to not focus on, oh, they have 10 million subscribers and I can pay this much money for 10 million subscribers or I can get 100 so different um, influencers that have 30 to 50,000 subscribers mm -hmm. and get so much more deeper engagement, right. deeper appreciation. It's all appreciation. about the connection. Yes. Yeah.